That's a lovely ring. It was a gift from Robert de Sable when he took me under his wing. This is about all I have left of my ties to the Templars now. Did you study philosophy, Maria? I've read scraps, nothing more. The philosopher Empedocles preached that all life on Earth began simply, in rudimentary forms. Hands without arms, heads without bodies, eyes without faces. He believed that all these early forms combined, very gradually over time, creating all the variety of life we see before us. Interesting, hmm? <laughs> I don't see the point of your ramblings. Only a mind free of impediments is capable of grasping the chaotic beauty of the world. This is our greatest asset. But is chaos something to be celebrated? Is disorder a virtue? It presents us with challenges, yes, but freedom yields greater rewards than the alternative. The order and peace that the Templars seek requires servility and imprisonment. Hmm, I know the feeling. I knew it was him. I told you. I'll bet the Templars would pay a pretty handsome reward for those two. Stay where you are. Thought I'd seen the last of you. If only I were so lucky. What is your business with this woman? Are you a Templar lackey? No, sir. The pirates attacked her and I had to help. But I'm no lackey. I can't stand these Templars. I understand. You're not alone. My name is Marco, sir. I'll help in any way I can, if it means ridding my country of these Crusaders. Then I need you to keep this woman safe until I return. I have to find someone before the Templars do. We'll be patrolling the harbor all day. She'll be safe here with us. Of me. Oh. 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 
There's an assassin here! Save my life, friend. I cannot thank you enough. 